So today we will be showing a mid pocket in the Warrior Evo 5 just like I have here. So stay tuned for the tutorial. So before we begin the tutorial, you'll need a nine diamond top string. As you can see here, I'm gonna do that nine diamond top string on the second hole of the head. So once again, nine diamond top string on the second hole of the head. So we're gonna start the sawwell pattern on the third hole of the head. So right here at third hole, as you can see, we're gonna put my string through that third hole all the way through. We're gonna do our simple starting knot. So through the first mesh hole, we're gonna go from the bottom and up. Just like so, we're gonna do that once again through the same sawwell hole and up and through that same mesh hole. Just like so, it should be nice and tight. So now we're gonna do is skip these next two sawwell holes and do an S size. We're gonna go down through the next mesh hole. So once again, skipping these next two sawwell holes and going to go into the plastic like so. Pull the string up and down so it's nice and tight. We're gonna take our leading string Go up and through that same mesh hole. So it should come out looking just like that. So now what we're going to do is skip the next sidewall hole and do another SI. So down through the top of the next mesh hole, just like so. Remember to skip that next sidewall hole. I'm going to go into the plastic through the loop that we create. nice and tight, and up and through that same mesh hole. So just like that, we should have these two SIs. So now what we're gonna do is skip and do a KSI. So we're gonna go down to the top of the next mesh hole, just like we did the first two times. So continuing that KSI, we're gonna skip the next sawwall hole and go into the plastic. So we're not gonna pull the string all the way through because now we're doing a KSI instead of a normal um, SI. So what we need to do is take our string and go from the back of the loop and downwards, just like so. And so to signify that we're creating a knot because it's a knotted SI, we should have like this little pretzel um, as you can see. So what I need to do is take my string from the inside and just keep pulling it so it cinches down like so. Then what I'm gonna do is take my fingertips and pinch the sawwall string to the plastic nice and tight. I'm gonna pull my string downwards. This one should probably be the tightest out of the top three knots. So like so, we have cinched it nice and tight. So now I'm gonna take my string and go up and through that same mesh hole just like we did the first two times. So now that we have that KSI, it's gonna help keep the channel from getting loose over time. So now what we're gonna do is two more SIs following that KSI. So down through the top of the next mesh hole. And now we're gonna to start to create the pocket. So what we need to do is take the top of the mesh, pull it outwards, and then up towards the scoop nice and tight. And we're just gonna to continue to make that SI. So we're gonna pull this you know, downwards toward the plastic into the next sidewall hole through the loop that we create, nice and tight, and then up and through that same mesh hole. Just like so. So we're gonna do that one more time. So down through the next mesh hole, pinching the mesh and pulling it up towards the scoop. This is very important to help create the pocket. So we're gonna pull the string downwards so the mesh loop kind of cinches downwards towards the plastic so we're going to go into the next sawwall hole. Nice and tight. And then up and through that same mesh hole. Just like so. So we did a KSI and then two SIs following after it. 
So now what we need to do is a one. So what we're gonna do is take our string, go up and through the bottom of the next mesh hole. So the opposite of an SI. Now we're gonna take our mesh, once again, pulling it towards the scoop. We're gonna take our string and pull it downwards so that that mesh loop anchors downwards to the plastic, which is very important. So now we're gonna go into the plastic and through the loop that we create. As you can see. So just like that, we now have a one. So following that one that we just did, we're gonna do two more SIs after that. So down through the top of the next mesh hole, we're gonna to continue to create the pocket. So we're gonna pull the mesh up towards the scoop into the next sidewall hole. Nice and tight through the loop and then up and through the bottom of that same mesh hole. So it should be nice and tight. So we're gonna do that one more time, another SI. Through the next mesh, or through the next uh, sidewall hole, through the loop that we create. Up and through the next, or up into that same mesh hole, excuse me. Just like so. So what we're gonna do is skip the next sidewall hole we're gonna take our string, go into the last sawwell hole on the head, and we're gonna do an interlock, so we're gonna leave a little bit of slack, um, just like so. So now this next mesh hole that you can see I have here, we're gonna go from the inside of the head through the bottom of the next mesh hole, just like so, and then through that loop, so very simple. So we're gonna to continue to create the pocket. So we're going to pull the mesh up towards the scoop, nice and tight, and then just cinch this down. So from the outside and up, down. So that should be very tight, like so. It should look really, really, really nice. I'm going all the way down the head. Now to finish tying off, we're gonna take our string, go back down through that same mesh hole, just like so and out and through that same last sawwall hole. So it might be kind of tight uh, if you have, or if you don't have aglets, but I do, so just like so. So we should have this little loop, as you can see, and then from the inside. And all we need to do is pull this string very tight, just like so, and that should create a nice little locking knot so it's not gonna slip through or anything. And the last thing we need to do is simply tie a knot to the plastic of the head, just like so. Okay, so now we should have this really nice looking mid pocket in the Warrior Evo 5. It fits the shape of the head very, very well, as you can see with the curve of the bottom rail. So we have a nice mid pocket. It'll give you a nice smooth release. Uh, it shouldn't have too much whip. Also, it'll have a very nice channel, so it's gonna be some nice hold and accuracy. So overall, we have a very clean looking mid pocket in the Warrior Evo 5. We found